Hi Coimbatore, today we have Dr. Sundaresh with us, he's a popular ophthalmologist and uh, often we uh, run to a doctor when we have an emergency and uh, they are often like they help us to bust our stress but what do doctors do, what do they do to uh, as a stress buster so Dr. Sundaresh is going to share his experience, uh, hello doctor and uh, like to start with how stressed uh, how stressed is a doctor's personal life and his professional life uh, see uh, talking about uh, you know problems uh, we deal with problems every day day in and day out uh, we uh, i on an average see uh, around 30 to 35 patients in a day and every patient comes with a problem so solving others problem itself adds stress to our uh, mental health and apart from that we have our own problems at home at household problems marital problems uh, children so many other things which uh, we have to you know I'm, I'm talking about all doctors in general not only uh, my uh, experience so uh, stress yes definitely it's uh, it's more of a uh, what to say uh, high tension wire uh, job uh, along balancing it with you know uh, family uh, this thing is again uh, stressful uh, I, I, and I'm in a uh, field which is uh, comparatively less stressful and imagine uh, the cardiologist or a neurologist or a neurosurgeon who is you know even uh, uh, stressful even more stressful their uh, problems are so uh, stress uh, I, I, I would say uh, compared to you know other uh, professions uh, there is uh, high stress in uh, the uh, doctor's life and their jobs you were saying out like you took into art to as a stress buster so like uh, how did it help it and how did you choose art yeah, uh, see, uh, art uh, as such uh, is uh, considered as a hobby. So a anyone who is good at you know sketching or anyone who is good at uh, observing things, uh, going around and picking up a lot of uh, uh, you know external uh, cues, uh, can do art. So it's nothing. It's not uh, a big uh, trick. Uh, but the interest to doing art, art art there are several forms of art it's not only painting which is called art you, know, you could do embroidery you could do stitching you could do uh, paperwork you could do origami you could do uh, there, there are lots of forms of uh, you know art even uh, dance music and all those are uh, art forms so art as such uh, what it does to you one thing is uh, whether you are actually interested in art that's the first thing you'll have to answer if you have an interest to art then uh, nothing like it so any form of art and what i i f felt from my experience is uh, it kills loneliness that's one thing which is a big stress buster if if you don't have a family nearby if you don't have your kids around uh, if you are old aged if you you know uh, 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 done all your duties and you're you know you don't have company then uh, this uh, hobby or an interest or any kind of art form uh, is a big big killer of loneliness and this loneliness is now considered to be the reason for lots of uh, you know uh, uh, psychological disorders like uh, depression anxiety and so many things which now the uh, younger generations are going to face so i i uh, chose art in the form of paintings so i do oil sketchings i do watercolors i do pencil sketchings and uh, the time i spend uh, doing uh, these art forms uh, looks uh, what to say uh, i can't find time to do this i can't find time enough time i want to do more and more and more and more and more but uh, that comes only when you're uh, putting your uh, you know uh, soul into it you are fully uh, concentrating on it and when you do that you tend to ignore and neglect or you, uh, you take away so many stress aspects of your mind so that can be occupation, that can be your household uh, stress, it could be related to children, it could be related to health. So, so many uh, stressful factors are, you know, taken away from your uh, uh, mental uh, disturbances. So that uh, is my, uh, you know, experience after uh, starting to uh, actually doing the artwork I'm doing. So, so after you have taken to painting, so how has this improved your quality of life? I definitely feel more happier 
and people around me have started noticing that that's a big thing people notice that i'm more happy now and uh, happy in the sense i'm able to express lot of my feelings now initially i used to be an introvert i i never used to express my feelings i used to keep all my stress inside and uh, now, now i i've opened up i've started opening up and that calmness to the mind has come because of this art form and that is one big quality uh, change which i would say from my uh, aspect and uh, quality of work again in the uh, it it reflects in my uh, day to day activities also i'm more energetic in the hospital i spend good quality time with my uh, patients i don't have the kind of stress i used to have earlier so i'm more happy with my uh, you know uh, work in the hospital so that again is a big uh, quality change for me so so finally what would be your advice would be to your colleagues to peer, other peer, people in your fraternity and how do you think they should bust their stress <laughs> yeah uh, as i was uh, telling you from the beginning i think each one of us should choose a hobby and each one of us should have uh, a passion to one of our uh, hobbies which should uh, be pursued See, most of us have a hobby we do have hobbies we do have a passion but uh, unfortunately we are not able to uh, pursue them because of so many uh, factors but we'll have to find time we'll have to find time we'll have to compromise on certain other aspects maybe the money part or the uh, professional uh, part uh, for some the profession itself is a hobby for them the profession itself becomes like sachin tendulkar doesn't need to go run for a hobby or to find a, a passion for him cricket is life cricket is passion so he for him playing in the nets is like meditation for uh, people who don't have that opportunity people who have chosen something else Uh, just for you know family circumstances they can't pursue music they can't pursue going to uh, you know an art class or a dance class because of you know family situation they've chosen a profession which uh, which could take care of their livelihood but not of their mental health so then those kind of people should pursue their uh, hobbies in some way or the other they should be able to find some time uh, neglect you know uh, distracting features like you know going into social media wasting their time uh, going into television and wasting their time uh, should see social media can be used for so many uh, other good positive see i uh, do lot of my artwork and most of it is on social media so that that is a different way of utilizing social media but not you know wasting your time on uh, doing that so people have to do that people have to give priority for this and this i am telling you uh, is going to be their savior in old age thank you so much sir thank you for your time thank you welcome